Hey guys, today we're in search of cheap beats here in Sydney, Australia. Everything has to be under $10. Will we be successful? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back and greetings from Sydney, Australia. We are gonna be looking for some cheap eats. Yesterday we walked around and we did some research and we noticed that the food here is quite expensive, especially for us Japanese people. So we're starting off here very near Chinatown called Darling Square, The Exchange. There's a whole bunch of takeout shops here. It looks like it's kind of like a commercial slash business area. It's quite pleasant and lots of seating as well. First place we went to is called Merrickville Pork Row. And this place is really famous for their bummy sandwiches. There is a line, a constant stream of people waiting outside the store, but it goes pretty quickly, so don't worry. So this is barbecue pork rum, nine dollars. Plus, I realize lots of vegetables inside: carrot, cucumber, coriander, onion, and under the vegetables, barbecue pork meat. Itadakimasu. Mmm, it's good. A little bit soy saucey sauce and sweet sauce. The texture of vegetable very fresh and pork meat umami came. One more bite. Mmm, this meat is a smooth paste. It's lots of flavor. It's really good pork roll by me. Itadakimasu. Mmm, the vegetables are so fresh and crispy. Oh, that's delicious. That goes really well with that uh, Vietnamese-style barbecued pork meat, which is kind of like, I don't know, it, look, it, it looks like meat. It looks like a, you know, roast beef or something, but this is actually like kind of ground-up meat with seasonings and it's baked or something. It is delicious. The baguette is also wonderfully crisp on the outside and it's kind of a little bit chewy and fluffy on the inside, so even the bread is delicious. No wonder this is a popular place. And I'm so happy we found something for $9. Only $9, less than 10. We're not gonna break the rules today. Everything has to be under $10. And right in the same area, maybe two blocks down from the banh mi shop was a matcha shop. I'm so happy. I know where to go for matcha now. Hopefully this is good. But the place is called Matcha Ya and I got the matcha honeycomb latte. I thought I'd get something a little bit Australian. And so that's what I got. I do want to point out that these two shops are located inside this narrow alleyway uh, in this area. Um, it's easy to find it, so don't worry. Cheers. That is actually delicious. First of all, the matcha flavor is there. You can tell they're using real good matcha. You can taste the earthiness, the bitterness, so that's there. But then you also get the crunch and the sweetness from the honeycomb, which is very strange in my little world. However, I'm kind of liking this. Actually, I love this. I wish I can find this uh, matcha honeycomb latte in Japan. I would definitely buy it again. Sydney is a walkable city. Maybe you want to get lost because there are so many signs in the city. If you find a pole, look up. You can find the signs. Next, we came to Dragon Pastry along Dixon Street. This shop sells traditional Chinese pastries. This shop is located in the center of Chinatown. This street is very atmospheric. This is purple potato egg yolk pastry. Looks like Japanese omanju. Mmm. Mmm. I think they didn't add any sugar because uh, I can taste the sweet potato sweetness. Outside is very delicate. It's like a puff pastry and egg yolk. Mm -hmm. Little bit, little bit salty egg yolk. It's good combination with this egg yolk and purple potato. This is simply called date cake and this was also $6. So definitely within our budget. And as you can see, it's pretty soft. It, it, it's very moist as far as I can see. Itadakimasu. Mmm, it's very moist. It has the flavor of brown sugar, which is really nice. And there are bits of dates inside. Mmm, whoa. 
This is delicious. And you know, it's not too sweet either. There are many shops here that I would actually want to visit every day. For example, the Yokohama Chinatown in Japan is very touristy. And it seems like most of the shops there, like 99.9% .9 of the shops there are geared toward the tourists. So like, I don't find anything I particularly want there. Okay, next place is from Emperor's Garden Cakes and Bakery. This is also on Dixon Street. And this is one of my favorite places. When we first arrived, this is one of the first places we came to. I went in to look for baked chashu bao, or in Hawaii they call it cake baked manapua. And I bought it, and it tasted just like the one I had in Hawaii. So I had to get it again. Check it out. It is pretty big and it is only $4.50 uh, Australian dollars and it is baked fresh daily. Everything in the shop is uh, baked fresh daily. So let's show you guys what it looks like on the inside. See? Oh, look at that. You see, there's quite a lot of meat in here. Doesn't that look delicious? I love this. Mmm. Oh man, this is what I miss when I'm in Japan. For some reason, you can't find this anywhere in Japan. Mm, the, the, the outside is like nice bread, but it has a little bit of chew to it. Very, very crusty on the surface. And the inside is filled with sweet roasted pork. Oh man, it is so good. Mm, and it's super tender too. I can't believe we just arrived like two days ago. And I've already been to this shop twice. Look, it's a gigantic vanilla cake. The price is $5.50. So it means that this one plus the Shinichi's one equal $10. It's a very soft, spongy cake. My favorite type, fluffy, fluffy. I like this color, it's golden brown. Ooh, very fluffy, very fluffy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice custardy taste, not overly sweet, just right. And slight cream, the sweetness and the texture, the smooth texture is comfortable in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I can eat all in one sitting. This gigantic one. Mm. Wow, like it's denser than chiffon cake, but it's still very light, light as cloud, really. Look at the cream. I wonder what the cream tastes like. Mm. It's like vanilla frosting. It's mm. vanilla cake. Mm, yeah. I can't believe how big this is. But once again, like Satoshi said, it's very light and fluffy. So you could probably finish this in one sitting if you try, or depending on who you are. This will probably take me like two sittings, but it's good. This shop also has a restaurant. And between the bakery and the restaurant, they have Emperor's Puff shop. They sell this one. It's very cute. It's like a Japanese the baby custard. Inside, carefully, carefully. Oh, oh, cream oozing out. Mm, 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 mm. It's like a pancake. Very moist, like pancake. Yes, please imagine the surface of pancake. It's like that. Mm. When you bite into it, the custard just kind of like whoop into your mouth. Look, all gone. It does taste eggy and it's a nice complement to this very gentle flavored uh, sponge. Delicious. So next we came to Darling Harbor. Around this area, there are so many museums, aquariums, and so much more. Of course, there are many eating places and shops. It's a very touristy area, but it's fun and festive. So we enjoy that. Plus, one of our favorite bakeries is just right around the corner. Borg Street Bakery at Barunguru Avenue in Darling Harbor. This place specializes in pies, sweet and savory, as well as uh, sausage rolls and pastries. And they're really, really good. We've actually been here once before, yesterday. I got the lamb, harissa, and almond sausage roll for $7.50, way within my budget. And it looks like this. It's pretty big and it's hefty as well. It's very hefty. And that's probably the sausage inside. It is covered with a really flaky pie. It's warm and there's some poppy seeds on top. Mmm. Whoa. That is incredibly flaky. It's also buttery as well. 
I haven't gotten to the sausage yet. That is incredibly flavorful. Incredibly flavorful. The lamb gives extra flavor and the almonds gives a nice crunchy texture and also a nutty flavor as well to the lamb. It is delicious. I usually don't get lamb because sometimes it can get gamey, but I heard that lamb is really good here. So I got lamb sausage and I was right to get this. It's pretty damn good. One of the things on my bucket list is eating authentic Australian pie. And today I'm eating the beef bruschetta and mushroom red wine pie. It's $8. And this shop, I already ate beef pie and it was pretty good. So today I'm very, very looking forward to try another one. This, I, on this pie, it's I think poppy seed. It's very, very hot. Okay, oh, looks like stew. Hmm. Yeah, it's beef brisket with red wine. So it must be like stew, beef stew. Mmm, very flavorful feeling. Good meat flavor, long time simmered in red wine. And the mushroom umami comes. Mmm, here you can see beef brisket. Once again, guys, this is our second time here. So it is that good. We approve of Bork Street Bakery. Uh, today we didn't get it, but they also have this amazing ginger creme brulee out of this world. Probably the best creme brulee I've had ever. So next we came to Hachi Espresso, located around Railway Square. Kofta Rock is only ten dollars. Yes, ten dollars. Marinated lamb kofta, oven roasted cherry tomato, hummus, parsley, samak salad, light chew sauce on a freshly baked wrap. I found this shop this morning. I came to this shop to have coffee. This coffee shop, the rating was pretty high, so I came here and I found this wrap. Oh, here they have the under ten dollars meals. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Parsley taste is really good. Fluffy bread. It's lamb meat, but it's not gamey at all. Mm. Nicely seasoned with spices. This is good. Alright guys, this place is pretty cool. We're in a place called Spice Alley. It's located on Kensington Street and we're in a place called Chiki Bao. This place has a whole bunch of uh, Southeast Asian food. They even have Japanese food here. Uh, there's a place where there's like Tori Gates and it's called Kyoto. Uh, we're not going to try that one out today. Uh, we're going to be trying out this one because this one fits into our budget. So this is the Chicken Balger. It's obviously called balgur because it is a, instead of regular buns, you have a bao bun. And this one has a deep fried chicken, has cheese, some kind of sauce, and a lot of veggies in here. Mmm, mmm. That is pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> the chicken is deep fried to a crisp. It's very, very tender. And they're using chicken thighs, so it's juicy as well. The sauce reminds me of uh, like a gochujang sauce, like sweet, savory, maybe a little bit of kick. The vegetables give it a nice freshness. It's very crispy, very fresh vegetables. I like it. It's only $10. Alright guys, we did it! We found meals under $10, mm -hmm. or food items under $10, and most of the items we tried today were really good. I think our choice was pretty nice. Oh yeah, so what were some of your favorites? My meat, the pork roll. The pork roll, <laughs> that was good. My favorite has to be your beef pie mm, from that was good too. Bork Street Bakery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My sausage roll was good too, but your beef pie was out of this world. We liked it so much, we actually went back to the place uh, twice. Anyway guys, really hope you enjoyed this one. As always, please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. And stay tuned for number two video from Sydney coming real soon. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys.